The Palladium Telecassetten game is a home video game console that was released in 1978 only in Germany. Palladium is a subdivision of the mail order company Neckermann Technologies in Germany, and the console sold for $99, which is about $450 today adjusted for inflation. The console features a black housing with 10 selection switches on it, making it possible to choose between up to 10 different game modes for various games. There were also three buttons on the console to change game options, and there are two different versions of the console known to exist, the 530 and the 581. The controllers of the 581 model have fire buttons, which are different than the controller of the 530 model. There were many Pong-style predecessors of the Palladium Telecassette game known to exist, so here's a brief list of some of them. Like the SHG Blackpoint and many other European consoles around the late 1970s and early 1980s, the Palladium Telecassette game uses PC50X ROM cartridges. The console itself didn't contain a CPU as it was built into the game cartridges themselves. There were four games included in the system, Auto Race, Telebowling, 10 Ball Games, and Motorcycle Race. There were also seven cartridge games released, and they are all classic games built on General Instruments chips, like Cycling, Motorcycle Race, Car Racing, Submarine, and Super Wipeout. These of course are the generic English titles, the real names being in German. Like the SHG Blackpoint, there was also a tank battle cartridge sold that required digital controllers as opposed to the analog joystick controllers that came with the system. In 1982, a successor, the Palladium Video Computer Game, was released, and it's essentially the same system as the Emerson Arcadia 2001, and in fact both consoles are software compatible with each other, so they could technically play each other's games if the cartridge slots were the same, but they aren't. The Video Computer Game came with two detachable controllers that featured a screw-on analog joystick and a 16-button keypad. Small plastic overlays were included with each game, explaining the functions of the different keys when placed over the keypads, just like with Mattel's and television. Due to the fact that there were so many different variations of the Palladium game consoles made, exact sales numbers are unknown, but being that they were produced in such large numbers, they can still be found quite easily all across Europe almost 50 years later. This video was a segment from my Iceberg documentary on every single video game console ever made. So if you're into that sort of thing, you should definitely go check it out. You can follow me on all social media at Iceberg Docs. Like, subscribe, click the links in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.